this, we drove the new Renault Kajal, Captur's bigger brother. Nice to look at, the new model has a distinct muscular appearance. The interior sports comfortable seats, Renault's grip extend system with which you can set the car's behavior on the road and a fair amount of legroom in the back. They mostly use quality materials in the Kajar, although there are squeaky plastic buttons here and there. The boot has a lot of space and the ability to split it into several compartments using the floor shelves. The highest equipment level offers LED low and high beams, heated seats, cruise control, hill start system, a panoramic roof window and so on. Oh, and for those that might have noticed the Serbian license plates, no, we weren't there. This test car will go there, however, but we've driven it in Slovenia. We can't complain driving the car. The electrical mechanical servo is soft, but on the other hand, also stiff enough to make you aware of the road. This big crossover has the option of four-wheel drive. If you've correctly observed that the car is dirty, well, we didn't record it driving off-road because we didn't want to step outside the vehicle. It was too muddy. Although lacking a reductor and low gears, most people will probably drive this car on the roads anyway. All-wheel drive will only be used for better grip when there's a lot of snow. Engine options will include one petrol and some diesel engines. The most powerful engine is a 1.6 liter, 130 horsepower diesel. N no, not one cow. 130 horses. In conclusion, the new Renault Kajar is a nice crossover, which you'll be able to buy from 19,900 euros to 28,900 euros, depending on the trim level and engine choice. <laughs>